the production holiday is Kawhi. So I'm guessing, I wonder who they're going to do next. My guess would be Shakira Stevenson. We're only going to watch one minute, 30 seconds, just to give you the feel. Just to give you the feel. And we welcome in now ESPN and Ring Magazine, basically everyone in boxing's prospect of the year 2018, Teofimo Lopez. Here's a fast, twitchy, blue chip prospect with an overwhelming offense. We don't want to be considered prospect because I truly believe we surpassed that. He is a bad mama jama, and he's knocking out everybody. You get to know him and follow the progress, and you realize that, you know what, there's a very good chance that this guy's going to be something extra special. That's the one. And the two. <laughs> He's the only boxer out there right now that's looking perfect. I will be the next the big superstar in the sport of boxing. Also, remember Sunday night. I'm going to get the exact date while I'm here with you right now. Sunday night, they're doing a special on Crawford Con called Crawford Con Countdown. I know I'm going to be fucking dead by Sunday night, though, but I'm not missing Game of Thrones. Yeah, here it is right here, if you can see it. Countdown Crawford Con, Sunday, April 14th at 10 p.m. Ooh, so they're coming on after Game of Thrones. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Fantastic Fights. Oh. Is this a re-edit or is this like original content? re-edit oh this is new we're gonna preview this so already what i'm gathering from this is this is terrence crawford and bo mac looking back at a previous fight, which is Gamboa. Oh. Damn, I want to pick the right clip to watch. What do we what do we start? Well, let's start right here at the beginning. Let's see how this works. It was nice. I have always had to earn oh, it. Oh shit, I got keep up on here. The boxing people gave me was mediocre. And so what that did was kept the chip on the show. So that's two programs. After Terrence beat Ricky Burns, Cameron Duncan called me and, and was like, y'all want to fight Lurkis Gamboa? Funny, Gamboa's about to get um, Tink Davis. We talked about yeah, that months ago. That's Terrence been out there. Like, yeah, he'll fight him. Okay, I'm going to check this out later on. Let's go check out the Mungia way in. Let's go check out the Mungia way in. So what I was saying is, I'm, I'm, the podcast, I'm, I want to start the podcast in May. And I want it to be on Mondays. I can do Mondays. One hour, two hours for special editions. Um, I've been reaching out to a lot of people and uh, my guest lineup is looking crazy so far. I'm talking about like my guest lineup and y'all know how I do my interviews. Y'all know I'm not going to be sucking no dick. What was I looking for? Oh. My guest lineup's going to be crazy. Okay, so where's the way in? Yeah, let's check this out. It's only 22 minutes. Yeah, let's check this out. We ain't got shit to do. You're going to make me I already got the zone. Shit. Dick me sign in again. I got two the zone account. I used to have three. But I let one of them lapse, and now they want me to pay $20. No thanks. So why is this waiting so long? Hold on. Hold on. A 
Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Don't worry, I can translate for y'all. My Mexican heritage. You know I'm half black, half Mexican, half Irish. Why are you so loud? Don't worry, I'm gonna translate all this shit. This is down in Mexico. In my half homeland. Come on, get on the scale, Mungia. Shit, did he get on the scale yet? Rodolfo the hell no no I, obviously i like fried chicken obviously but you know what i don't eat as much fried chicken anymore because i got an air well, i used to have an air fryer and let me tell you you get an air fryer don't get me wrong the cleanup is a bitch but it's it's not as messy as frying chicken but no i love tacos i'm always making carnitas and shit mm. where's this at <laughs> you need 24 uh, the zone does have a 24-7 type show. I forgot what it's called. They did it for, um, I think it's called The Journey. The Journey 2. They did it for um, Canelo Fielding. I expect one for, you know what we can watch on stream? We can watch the Golden Boy uh, Mano a Mano. Basically, they have two docudrama buildups. One called Mano a Mano that you can watch part one now on the Golden Boy Facebook page. And also the zone is going to be having something, probably going to be launching soon for Canelo and um, Jacobs. Uh, air fry is like this big ass fucking, it's called Big Boss Air Fryer. Big ass fucking bowl. And like you put, it's like a little rack and you put your motherfucking chicken and shit on there and you fry it. You don't use flour though or batter, you use breadcrumbs. It's much more healthier for you because you're not using uh grease and it keeps the natural juices and flavors and shit inside the chicken shit is fucking good for you man it's delicious as fuck man so tonight i'm making my um my um hand down from generations and generations uh spanish stew chicken what the fuck taking them so long to get on a scale uh, spanish stew chicken with tomatoes and shit so i gotta put that in the crock pot after the stream is over then i'm gonna chill i did all my chores and shit so i'm gonna chill and you know i gotta come back tonight and work the uh, top rank card. What the hell's going on? And all these people just on the stage. Oh, he said, all right, yo, what's up? Everybody chill. It's Jaime Munguia. He about to get on the stage, y'all. That's what he said. I mean, on the scale. 154 libras exactas. 154 libras en peso. 158.8? 150, 150, 150, uh, 3.8, some shit. See? Yes, y'all understood that? Let's see what Dennis Hogan went. I speak Australian, too. Mismo peso. Mismo peso, Dennis Hogan. Mismo peso. 154 libras, ambos contendientes. Okay. This is uh, Jaime Munguia's last fight at 154 pounds, supposedly. No Charlos. Nope. He going to get some of that zone 160 pound money. <coughs> Potential Canelo fight. No time in the future. Probably like 2021 or some shit. Where Oscar at? Jaime looked better though than he did the last way in, that's for sure. Andre Mungia, nah, depends on whoever, whenever they decide, whoever decides to go after that WBO belt. They're still trying to build up um, Demetrius Andre profile over on the zone. Who do Dennis Hogan look like? He looked like somebody. 
he looked like a Call of Duty character. And don't say Conor McGregor. Everybody that's motherfucking Irish or Australian don't look like Conor McGregor. I'm cool with the zone. I've had no issues. You know, I mean, you got to think it's motherfucking $10 a month. You know, you can't beat that. Especially for me, you can't count me because it makes my job so much easier. I used to cover these fights, having to find all, the, like, these Sky Sports fights. I used to have to go through hell to watch them shits on stream and then have the motherfucking war about buffering and shit. And fucking having to fucking close out them fucking stupid-ass boxes. I'll pay for ESPN Plus and the zone ten times over than to deal with that fucking bullshit, man. And I do cuss a lot. I need to stop cussing. Let's go check out the Quillen uh, Truax way and see where that's at. How long we been live? Oh, somebody about to get knocked out. I mean, he looked cool to me. Hogan looked more drained than him. I see Munguia look. He looked bad his last way in. Looked like they had to hold him up. I don't know who none of these people are. I'm talking about on a stage. Those Takate girls look familiar there. I know Takate. Everybody knows Takate girls. Let's go see if they got anything on the zone, anything else. One round, Mangia versus Hogan. Okay. Oh, shit. Pues el, el camino de esa pelea de título del mundo con Saddam Ali fue, la verdad que... Don't he like the kid that had all the Super Nintendo games? Like every time they came out, he always had all the Jordans. All right, I can understand that and translate it. They do get, yeah, they do. They are not biased. Fox Sports. Who punched right in his stomach? Fox Sports go out out of their way to like not mention Terrence Crawford, you know. And Max, see Max and Andre Ward and Timothy Bradley, they know better, you know. So they know they gotta you know mention Errol Spence and they gotta mention you know the other guys, even though they try not to. You know, because, you know, because of the different networks and everything like that. But they don't, you know, Fox just act like Loma and Crawford don't exist. Like, they act like they just don't exist. You know? Oh, yeah, Quillen. Let's go check out my man Quillen Truax. So, yeah, we're pumping out a lot more different content, man. So, what I'm doing is, um, you know, I've been, I've been having multiple people telling me, for years yes i am half black half irish and half irish and half mexican people been telling me well yeah what well, my mexican side is going obviously for Mangia, but then my irish side is going you know for hogan you know then my black side is just is me you know yeah i'm hell um el negro el negro mexicano el negro mexicano they call me um el negro so they call me the black the black <clears throat> My Mexican counterparts. But what was I saying? Stop distracting me, man. What was I saying? What was I saying? What's the damn way in? I like Peter Quill and jacket. I like that jacket. It's a nice jacket, man. What the hell is this? What's up? This is what the hell is this? Who are these people? I didn't mean to Main event tomorrow live on FS1 Premier Boxing Champions presents 12 rounds in the super middleweight. 
Thank I wish I could see the full version of this because he got crazy eyes. I want to see Peter Quillen's crazy eyes. Mm. Who I like, Shields or Hammer? Um, Hammer. If, I mean, today really showed me that Clarissa Shields is, you know, she kept her composure. You know, she's been seeming a little, as they say, rattled for the buildup, but she was building it up. But during the weigh-in, she made weight comfortably. She didn't look drained. Her uh, post-weigh-in interview, you know, she was cool. So all she has to do is she's got to be, she's got to not be, um, um, how you say, you know, she can't rush. She's got to get past the jab. She already knows what um, Christina Hammer's game plan is. And as you can see, Christina Hammer is very confident. You know, she's just like, listen, I'm just going to go in there. You know, I'm going to box. You know, and jab. She's got to get past it. So what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm getting up out of here. I got to go really put my motherfucking chicken into the, um, I got to clean it first. And then put my chicken in the crock pot for my tomato stew. I'm gonna take some pictures and post it on social media like a like a hoe, like I always do. And uh, I'm gonna play some video games, and I'm gonna be back later on tonight. But more importantly, I gotta fix my chat and fix this program because it's all fucked up, you know. So expect next week for, or as time goes on, for my streams to get a lot more cleaner. Meaning because um, they are now going to be the post fight videos are going to be the meat are always the meat of the channel. But the live videos are now, they got to be, you know, like I was always ahead of the curve when it came to live streaming anyway. Even right now with the technology, I'm ahead of the curve. But now I got to really, 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 really get that shit right. So we are going to be on Patreon. Now, I'm not trying to nickel and dime you motherfuckers, but y'all got it. Y'all can't be scumbags. The only reason why I'm going on Patreon is because I can't go a whole nother three months if, if you two want to be on some nut shit. And, and, and take my money away for three months, $7,500 plus. Can't do that no more. I've made $230 for the whole 2019 so far. We can't do that no more. So, and also on Patreon, you have so much more freedom to do shit. Like, my post fight videos on, on Patreon, we can show full highlights. Like, what the fuck? It's crazy. You know, so I should have been doing this years ago. You know? So, I'm still doing the research on it and everything, but the podcast is coming. The podcast, obviously, it's a podcast, so it's got to be, you know, entertaining, but it's got to be professional as fuck because of um of um the guests I'm going to have on. And I'm not going to, you know, have on no bullshit guest either. You know, we're not going to be just talking about regular old boxing shit. You know, yeah, I want to. I want to interview porn stars. I want to interview everybody. My my podcast is not just going to be boxing, by the way. My podcast is going to be. Um, it's not going to be just boxing. I'm telling you that now. So I'm still in the final, final phases of planning all this stuff in my head. You know, um, I made a big, big. What is it? A uh, leap? What do you call it? I forgot. You know, I'm tired. That's what it is brain's not working right um advancement you know now like my team we have we have a paid team you know so i'm trying to get three more members on you know as being paid you know like we already take care of people expenses but i get joy out of like seeing that i literally have a legitimate business now you know and like we're getting into events you know, at a record like pace, like we were getting denied like a motherfucker for years and years and years and years. Now, like we're getting like finally our just due. So the team that I have, like, for example, we have somebody at um, Shields versus Hammer, you know, and then I got all this um, here. I'll show you some of the content we have from yesterday that I got to upload. So I have gotten better. I'm not sitting on. OK, I am still sitting on content too long, but I'm not sitting on content as long, you know. Pause. What was that? What am I talking about? Where's my, where's it at? Hey, we got like a lot of content, man. Like we got a lot of content. I haven't uploaded to the channel yet. Like right here. Um. Yeah, let's see what Eddie Hearn's talking about. Let's see what, let's see what he's talking about. Maybe he's talking about earning. 
fight by fight. I believe Josh will be long term with the zone, but I won't let it obstruct the big, big fights. So does that mean, and I hate, you know, this is a little over my head yeah. business, but does that mean if there's more money in the pot for everybody on a Showtime pay-per-view, on a Fox pay-per-view, quite possibly. does that mean Joshua hey, could- Show me the money, man. Show me the money. Quite possibly. Our priority- So that means Joshua Wilder could happen on yeah, Showtime could pay-per-view, do. could happen could on- do. Could do. Our priority is to make that fight. Again, we can make that fight on Showtime, uh, top rank, ESPN, The Zone. Our priority is to make that fight on The Zone. Joshua is with The Zone. But I, I go back to what I said. The ultimate focus for Anthony Joshua is to box Deontay Wilder. And if someone comes up with a load of money, guaranteed money, for it to be on Showtime, so be it. Yeah, I'm going um, to start working on this stuff. Not tonight. Shit. Better emojis on Patreon. Yeah, what do you know about Patreon? I haven't been in there. I haven't, like, I've signed up. I got, like, everything. But I've been watching, like, YouTube tutorials on, like, the basic bare minimum shit. My Patreon is not going to be like everybody else's Patreon. I'm telling you that shit now. You know, like, if I, if I, if I, if I get more freedom than what I have on YouTube now, and if I go over to Patreon, you know, covering boxing, whew, uh, yeah, the, the weigh-in was hot. I mean, it was entertaining. You know, it was entertaining. But it was also it was also quite seductive. In a boxing way. Like for for the 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 skill of the women's boxing boxers and no one we're gonna see in the in, in the ring tomorrow night is the seductive I'm talking about. Not the way in, not you know the seductiveness. He has been just uploading some stupid shit about Lomachenko possibly fighting McGregor. I know that shit ain't happening. But that's that news that got... <laughs> if anything, man, like, listen, Connor got some shit going on. How long we been live? Okay, we got 10 minutes left. Connor got some shit he's got to take care of. You know? Connor got some shit he got to take care of. You know, like them allegations, man. No, shame on you. No, Patreon is free. Yeah, it's free to sign up. What I'm saying is... I'm trying to learn, like, put it this way. I know YouTube in and out. Like, I'm literally no bullshit. I'm a YouTube expert. I want to be that way with Patreon, especially when it's something I'm going to be charging people for. You know? Yeah, you got to click the bell icon. Like, as y'all can see, like, truth, like YouTube, I'm, like, covering boxing on YouTube. I've been talking about it for a while. I'm tired of it. I don't get, like, I only get joy out of covering post-fight videos. I, I mean, covering, like, you know, covering fights live. The the preview bitty videos are for credibility and for you guys, you know. But I want to cover other things, and I'm going to be covering other things. For example, I want to cover um um the Disney Plus and you know the Disney Plus service that's coming out. How that they're going to be packaging likely Disney Plus with ESPN Plus and Hulu. Can you imagine that? You know, I want to talk about more thought provoking topics. I've been told for years that, frankly, I literally was told, like, you're too smart to only be covering boxing. Yeah, I want to do more. If I want to do fucking ghost and shit. Cable is dying like a motherfucker. I've been trying my best to get my father away from cable. Trying my best. Like, you know how it is. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I get, you know, I get it. You know, you know if I really, really want to. If I really, really want to, I can get all this shit for free. Like all these channels and everything. I told y'all, I got an app on my phone where I have every single channel in the world. Everyone in the world on my phone. Just on my phone. You know? But you need your numbers to rise on YouTube first. No, you don't. My numbers, listen. Let's get something straight. When it comes to post, my, my, my bread and butter is post-fight content my bread and butter when it comes to post fight content nobody consistently beats me every week i'm in the top three if not number one with post fight videos those preview videos and everything that's you know my niche is post fight videos covering the digital content like you know uh the prospects when it's to cover 24 7 all access i'm cutting those preview videos i'm cutting that shit I'm cutting it. 
you know i'm cutting it like my shit people say oh well look at your views your views are low well then come back come holler at me on fight night come holler at me on fight night of course i'm doing um 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 game of thrones and i'm going to be doing um a show called chernobyl Chino- uh, chernobyl too for example you know what i want to watch i tell you what listen you're, you're gonna see i got some big big shit planned and yes i know everything there is to know ask me some shit about game of thrones i guarantee you i know it i binge that shit like two i binge that shit twice during my recovery last year stuck in the bed you know i know all that shit i know all about the fucking western king the seven kingdoms lore you know i know all about that shit politics yes yes like mr avenatti who just so happens is the attorney for the r kelly victim sad sad shit spartacus fuck no we got uh five minutes left six minutes left we're getting out of here i'm gonna go put my motherfucking food in a crock pot come back down here you know what's you know what's funny that probably when I end this stream, I'm not even going to be tired no more, but I have to go to sleep. I really do have to lay down and at least get like a, I do have to get at least like a three hour nap. Why you do reaction videos? I am going to do reaction videos. I told you I'm doing all that shit. I'm not restricting myself to boxing no more. No way. But boxing, I'm always going to cover boxing. I did NBA before. I covered the um, 2012, 2013 and 2014 NBA playoffs been there done that i was supposed to do a video on magic johnson leaving the lakers and how it's probably lebron james fault uh. mm. nah i ain't covering no motherfucking soccer fuck that talk fuck that talk Nah, Cersei going to live, and then she's going to um, end up being the queen of the Night King. And they're going to have a Night King baby. Yeah, I got a weird feeling Hammer might win too. But remember, if I say Hammer going to win, that means she's going to lose. Because, you know, I don't be people, you know, my fucking shit be... I'm not covering no fucking cricket or no soccer. Hey, listen, y'all asking me dumb shit now. I got to go make my food so I can be on my top game and take my nap so I can be on my top game tonight for these fights. You know, because it's a big money fight. This is the first fights I'm covering this weekend. It's actually going to get my motherfucking revenue up. Shit. Mm, so I got to be in my A game tonight and tomorrow. You know, so. And then remember, next week is Crawford Con. So big, 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 big night. When is the main card? Starts at um 11 p.m. tonight, Eastern. And that's just for Gilberto Ramirez, Tommy Carpensi, and Loma um Crowley. Yo, the main event is on late tonight. Like the main event is on late. Like, remember what main event was on late before? Was it the Volzik fight came on all fucking late? Mm. Oh no. But all right. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Peace.